In this lesson, I will teach you how to combine the particle with the different special effects. My first combination will be between the auto paint and the particle generator. So let's record something. And let's stop the recording. I will increase the duration of my layer as usual. And I will erase the content of the drawing since I don't need it anymore. Let's check preview. Okay, perfect. Now let's open a particle. This time I won't create my own particle. I will use the particle provided with the TV pen licenses. So let's go into rendering, particle generator. And let's click on FX bin to display the different particles. So of course, all of them are not really interesting, we must be honest. But some of them are really nice, like sci-fi hot warp. By the way, this place is really nice since it allows you to see how the particle behaves when you move it. Now let's click on copy to FX and let's close this window. So now we have an auto paint and a particle. I would like this particle to follow the auto paint, so I will click on the emitters tab and I will change the center value by clicking on tools and copy from stack list. I will copy the path from auto paint. And here we are. Another combination this time. Let's delete everything. Let's reduce the size. Okay, so let's open again the particle generator. But this time I will use another effect, another particle. I will use the preset pyrotechnic heavy smoke. So here is the smoke. So we'll change the pre-render. Okay, I will change the size. And also change the life duration and the spread. Perfect. And now we'll combine this particle with an effect called posterize. These effects posterize the colors and give the cartoon looking to images, especially when combined with this kind of particle. So now I can apply it on frames and all, all instances. I will create a new Anim layer with the same duration. Because it's not enough, I will combine with another very powerful stylizing tool, which is the convolution grid. The convolution grid uh, allows you to put light on certain pixels. I will edit the matrix and the value I will enter here must be the exact opposite of the values around, like this. I will combine these three effects with a fourth effect, an effect called the scan cleaner black and white, which is supposed to be used to, um, to withdraw the paper background on an animation made on the paper. Here I will use uh, this effect for a different purpose, especially just to take the lines from this effect. And last but not least, I will use a fifth effect, border, in order to increase the border value, like this. 
Now let's apply the effects. And enjoy the result.